Hi and welcome back to uh, the next instalment of Survival Fountain of Youth. So kind of torn on what to do today. Part of me wanted to start base building, but I know that if we do that, we're liable. We do have a bunch of stones, like a lot of them, but we do get through a lot of stones. And also we get through a lot of uh, long sticks. But we also have this thing that we need to do. Checking for scorpions. No, we're good. And that is go get the forgotten spyglass. So I think if we just go here and we go into journal, forgotten spyglass, part of the story. So that's what we're going to do today. So let's just check with what we got on us. Uh, time of day, we've got just coming up to morning, which is good. This is going to be an overnight trip. So we've got some water. Uh, got a pickaxe in case we want to go mining. Got some food. Let me see. Um... Just going to take one of those and uh, drink some and then let's take off. The so first stop is going to be where we went the other day um, and see you there. So we're coming in now on the, where we got to the other day and we got our survival point there by reading that thing on our left. Now we did map this area, let's just go to M map. But it's only this area. If we look at the whole island, uh, we can't really see around the corner here. But anyway, up here is uncharted territory. So let's head up there and uh, see what we find. So I think first stop, see if there are any date trees here. We don't really need the coconuts, but we do want dates if they're here. I don't see any. Because we're drying them. Oh, let's uh, pick these up while we're here, I guess. So that's spare water if we need it. Now, just looking at what we brought with us, we do have our sleeping bag here. Uh, we do have some water and we have some food and an obsidian shard just in case um, our axe breaks, which is likely to do. One of the things we want from here, well, we want two things, more stones, and we also want uh, more long sticks. Now, when we base build, we are gonna have to be cutting down a lot of trees, and that's gonna give us the builder toolkits. Now, there's another entrance into the, um, I guess the, the network of paths up in the uh, mountain there. So I'm just going to... I want the um, feathers from here just in case we make arrows later. But we're going to get dive bombed as soon as we get close to this nest here. Here he comes. And it sounds like there's an angry dog somewhere. There he is. I'm not going to take him. Or the bird. So what we want is just the feathers. I'm going to leave the um, eggs. There is something called, um, I think, a clay and egg ointment medicine we can make later. If we take the eggs now, we can use them for... Um, where's the body? There it is. If we take the eggs now, they're going to rot. And uh, when we want to make the ointment later in the game, then... Um, we can go to any nest there and there will be a bunch of eggs available. But yeah, if you head up here, you can get some bamboo at the top. Now we've already got some bamboo, so we're okay there. But we are gonna have to do a trip up in the mountain at some point. But for now, we are after this spyglass. Get the story going. And the only thing we really want from any of these trees is dates so that we can get it drying. There's some there. Okay, take them.
crab. Kind of tempted to use them as target practice to get our bow skill up, but we're on a mission today, so let's just stick to task. And that is find the spyglass. Except more dates. Because they last quite a long time as it is, so we will have time to um, dry them. So there is a um, cartographer tree up ahead. Might pick up the uh, coconuts on the way back if we've got um, capacity, which we may or may not. So just checking, we do have a bunch of mapping charcoal on us. And there are some trees there. I can't remember exactly what. Okay, what are you? Where are you? So we have some stones here, and this is going to be platonio. What do we do with platonio? Okay, we can eat them for six food and two water. Cart there. So we want the stones, because when we go into base building, one of the um, many base building units that we're going to be using will require stone. So we're going to get through a fair bit. Now, did we bring rope? Um, I don't think we did. Nope, that was an oversight. Okay, moving on. Um, if we see some liana, yeah, note to self, carry rope in future. So I'm guessing these are the trees that we want up here. Got to deal with another dog, I guess. Yep, there he is. Yes, long sticks. Well, let's get, um, just bring our cart up. This is going to get heavy. So that's really the two things that we needed. And, uh, oh, got that one. Uh, EF Harvest. Dump that into the cart. So cart's up at 55. Uh, what is this one? Oh, more. All right. I think we got them all. Oh, I accidentally picked up the dog then. Uh, never mind. Now, hunger and thirst. We could do with... I'm um, just going to eat this platonia, I think. Okay, that'll do for now. Oh, I forgot to mention, uh, we did complete our animal hide clothing. So there we go. We got our hat. We got our cape. Um, so the only thing we need to be concerned about is that in 10 days' time, this is going to expire or degrade to zero. So what we're going to have to do at that point is, I guess, make an animal hide bag. So we're going to lose some carry capacity there because we can't make leather yet. Next. Um, so we got another nest here. So we're going to get dive bombed again. But more feathers again. And a trophy, but we don't really want the trophy right now. It's pretty heavy to carry around, and we'll get lots of those. We can get as many of those as we want later in the game. Now, anything of interest here? Yes. That thing. Oh, I read that book the other day. Remember we found a book in the last episode? Now, if you go to character, and we just look here. No, it's the bottom one. 
And then we look under athletics. So each of the skill trees here has these two boxes down here, which are books that you can find. And this was the book we found. So we read it, took 10 hours, and it gives us 50% reduced fall damage and injury. So again, you got two skill books down here, two down here. So a lot of books to find. Um, now V does highlight things of interest. So that's one thing. So we're going to go up there in a minute. Um, let's head up there now. So you see tons of things of interest here. But there's a snake. Deal with him. Stick. So we just picked up those kind of two stone tablets. Um, any nasties in here? Don't see it. So if we just look at this thing here, it's missing one, two, three, four, five stone tablets. We just press E there. That's the two stone tablets we found. So we need to find three more. So there's one. Press E again. So two more to find. But, oh, there's Liana. Rope, that is. So now we can go back to that cartography tree. Uh, bones. Piece of gum that's just used. Fish bones. All right, we can make another needle. There's another one of those stones. Oh no, that was a piece of native's map, so we've got two of those now, because we found one at that first place we stopped today, remember? Oh, uh, wide leaves, yep. Snake. And we've got some living water. Which we don't need right now, but if we do get into a situation again where we have a near-death experience, because what happens when you get a near-death experience is your maximum health gets capped, just like we saw on the very first day. So that, sh that initial shipwreck counted as a near-death experience, which is why our um, health was capped at the start of the game and why we took that um, living water to cure that. So another dog. Uh, leave him for now. Ouch. So yeah, that third level of concentration. Well, I think the first level of concentration actually um, identifies where all the things are because we needed to find one more of these, which we've now done, which means we can head up again and complete that wall. So let's do that. So we got one survival point there. Song of the Fountain. So as you can see, you've got all these chronicles to find through the game. And that tells us another bird's after us. So that'll be this guy. Oh. Well, where is this nest? Because they only aggro once you get close to their nest. I'm not sure. All right, so we've done the wall. Um, let's grab our... Oh, there's a stone. So we don't want to carry that, that, that. Don't really need to carry that. So that's Liana. It's not rope that so we need to make the rope that's 70 out of 40 already well let's head back to the um, cartographer tree so to make the rope we need two um battle music again and what is oh dog another dog so we need two uh, narrow leaves. So all of these palm trees over here will have those. So dates, did we get these? 
No, we didn't. Okay, let's take those. And dry them later. So what we want is these. Harvest. Then we can go to the liana we found. Blueprints. Craft the rope. Alright. A little bit late in the day. It might be too late to do mapping. Let's see. Alright, so there's our ladder. And now we can climb up. Is it too late to map? Fingers crossed. Quickly, M, mapping, start. Yep, we got it in. All right, so that's this area mapped. Uh, we got sage, which we're not really using right now. There are some medicines we could use for that. Uh, I think we got those long sticks. Plutonia, we picked that up. We got the um, stones here. There's some more stones over there. Anyway, let's head down the ladder. Let's just get back to our cart. I'm guessing that's the tracks from a dog. Well, we still haven't found the spyglass, which was um, our primary quest here. But I think if you see that kind of lighted up area ahead there that reach the location near the bay wait for the dark pass okay and we got another um tortoise so we can pick it up now so let's do that new goal boy from void from the mountain okay All right, while we're here, um, bow skill. One. Takes two to bring this guy down. Two. So all we really want from this guy is a tortoise shell, which he's got. I think we can leave the raw meat. Okay, one more for bow skill. Level five. So let's just check what that gives us. Mapping. Sorry, that's mapping. I wanted shooting. Shooting level five increases damage by 20%. And you've got these other benefits too. But it's mainly the damage output that's, I think, of the more interest. Here's another one. take a while to get to level six but I guess we can start the process all right and um, I think we're gonna overnight here and then just look around pick up some more stones what weight are we at a few things we can drop we don't really want the crabs this is at 73 so we do have a little bit of capacity left Roasted fish. Um, no, we don't need to eat yet. All right, well, let's sleep anyway. So we need our portable leaf bed. So place. Yeah, it's easy to place it on the beach. Okay, E. And let's sleep till morning. Okay, F, pick up. All right, food and water. So what do we got here? Uh, this is food sticks. We can eat a couple of those then. Water. All right, we're pretty much full. Let's see what else we can find. Another fishing spot, which we don't particularly need. So there's the place on the hill we went to yesterday to complete the wall and got the uh, chronicle. But just pressing V, there is nothing else, no other points of interest around here. At least nothing highlighted.
So just looking at the map now, we're kind of highlighting patches of the map here. So it'd be nice to see the whole map at some point. And when, what's going to happen is we're going to be heading up into those mountains pretty soon. It's the next stage of the story. And once we get up there, the elevation will mean that we can map the whole island. And we can get to see exactly where we are. We can't do that from the beach because it's all elevation related. But there were some stones around here, there. So disengage, go get the stones. Or did we already have these? I don't think so, no we didn't. As mentioned, when we start base building, we're going to need all these stones. Which is part of the reason for doing this before base building. Just to make sure we had enough stones that we did not run out. So we are overweight. Um, that's full. We are at 27. Now we're going to get dive bombed here. And there's a dog. I don't think we got... Did we get those trees up there? Not sure, but we're going to have to have a look at them. It's another trophy. All right, let's go have a look at... Um, let's deal with that dog. If we've got the cart on us, he's just going to jump us. So we want to go up there. All right, he's down. I can hear another dog though. I'm guessing there's another dog at the trees. Wait, did we do the nest? No, we didn't. But I think our feather supply is now good enough that, because um, we are going to upgrade from obsidian at some point to copper and then to iron. I'm guessing one more dog to deal with. Or were we here? Oh no, we weren't here. Okay. And long sticks, nice. So I think that's now enough stones and long sticks that we can go big on a base build, which we'll do in the next episode, I think. But are we going to get overweight? We are looking heavy. So got that one, got that one, got that one. All right, let's just um, head home. But I'm going to just go this way. Because there is another way up the mountain. is either this side of the rocks yeah it might be this side of the rocks actually can we get anything more into there no we can't actually um we're a little bit slow when i come back i'm just gonna drop that speed us up a bit just want to see where this path up into the mountains is another dog no stamina for the spear um okay now we do So there's our home, actually. We could head that way if we really wanted to. Um, we're going to get dive-bombed again, but let's just deal with this. Yep, there's one path up into the mountains right there. So what we could do is... Um, where? Let's just deal with this guy. There's three of them up there. Uh, it's this one, okay. Take his feather. So yeah, here's another path up into the mountains. In fact, um, let's just get some elevation and do some mapping here. And then we're going to head home. These things do hurt, these red things. You bump into them. 
So only goal here is mapping, not to try and do anything. Um, how can we get higher? Can we get up there. Mushrooms. So that's the building we were at. Okay, mapping. Start. How much did that open up for us? So we're close to another Chronicles. That's the building we were in yesterday now. We're actually not that far because the path would lead us all the way back to this here. Now let's do that. Um, I'm going to grab the cart and then head up this way. Uh, can't carry that. This is the wrong way down, but see how much damage we take. None. All right. There's another large stone. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff here and we can't grab a lot of it because we're just too heavy. Um, let me see, is there anything? No, we can't. Well, I'm not going to go the mountain route just because there's so much up there that we want to grab. But... I think what we're going to do is just head home, dump off everything we've got, and we'll do that another time. With the, um, actually, um, it's going to be another dive bombing incident here. And that will ensure that we have more than enough feathers for the rest of the game. Uh, maybe he's not going to dive bomb us? Yes, he is. Is there anything we can get in the cart here? One feather. All right, let's head home and I'll see you there. We're finally back at the base. If we just check on the time of day, we're coming into nighttime already. Now, I think next episode, we're gonna go into a big base build. Um, because I'm, I know that we need a lot of stones. Uh, we've got a bunch in here as well. 11 in there. So I think that's enough stones. We also need um, a bunch of long sticks. So we did pick up a bunch of those as well. We've got 14 on us, 21 in there. And we've got some in here. 25 in there. Yep, that's definitely enough long sticks. That's definitely enough stones. So next episode, that's what we're going to do. Go into a big base build. And um, so thanks for watching and I uh, hope to see you next time.